Hello, today we are going to make a realistic Earth and Cinema 4D and Redshift. I open Cinema 4D and change render to Redshift. Change the size of the project as you like. Add Redshift Dome Light and load your star field map as texture. I will use free one from the art station. Link in the description. Next, add physical sun and change its rotation to minus 110 on H and minus 45 on P. You can increase the intensity of the sun or leave it as it is. Let's also add camera to our scene and apply a shift camera tag to it. Enable bloom streak and flare for some cool post effects in our preview. The camera itself move a little further away from our scene. Create a simple sphere. Increase the segments number to a higher value. This is going to be our base. Now create Redshift standard material and go to the node editor. Let's import our textures. First things first, we should correctly interpret our texture's color space. For albedo or diffuse map, set color space to as RGB. For bump and specular map, set row. Connect diffuse map to color, specular map to reflection weight. For the bump map, we need to add an extra shader with the corresponding name. Connect texture to the input and the output of the bump shader to the bump map input of the our material. You can decrease the intensity of the bump as you wish. We can make it more realistic by adding an extra map for the night time. Firstly convert our sphere to polygonal object. Select all polygons and set vertex weight to zero. Rename it for the convenience. Check field step. Disable default freeze layer and add linear field. Make linear field a child of the sun and reset its rotation values to zero, except an H set it to 90 degrees. Now let's go again to our material and search for the vertex attribute node. Drag and drop our vertex map. As you can see, we've got now black and white map. Now import the nighttime texture. Add a composite color node. Connect texture to the base and vertex map to blend color. Set mode to multiply. Connect output of the composite node to the emission color. and set weight to 1. This simple trick allows us to have this texture only in dark parts of the planet. Let's make some clouds. Create new sphere and scale it to 102 cm. Create new material and import our cloud texture. Set color space to row. Connect to the ramp node in alt mode to remap it if you need to.
Connect ramp output to the opacity of the shader. Set color of the clouds to almost white. You can use a separate node called color. Disable reflection weight. We can add some fake thickness using bump map. Add bump shader node and connect texture to the input. Reduce its size to smaller values. We can duplicate our clouds to add more depths. Rotate it a little around to get a different pattern. Finally, let's create an atmosphere for us. Create sphere once again and scale it up to 105.5 cm. Place it inside the volume builder. Set volume type to fog, voxel size to 0.5 or lower for better results, but longer time calculations. Check primitive perfect checkbox and add fog smooth. By default volumes and VDBs are not seen by Redshift. Firstly we need to check if the light's volume contribution is higher than zero. Now we need to create material for our volume. Create Redshift volume material. Go to the scatter and select our volume builder from the list. Our volume is visible in the scene, but it's too dense. Set value to something like 0.05. The absorption should be about 0.1. Go to the advanced tab and remap values a little for your desire. Now change the scatter tint to more bluish color. By the way, thanks a lot to Evgeny Selivanov for the tip with atmosphere. Check his awesome profile in the description. The main beauty it is light reactive and fully procedural. Time to render and compose our shot. Firstly, I prefer to render a layered EXR with ACES, that are supported from recent versions of the Redshift. This step is more up to you, tweak settings as you like, increase or decrease the sampling count. Set view in color space to row. Disable transform to compensate view. In the AOV tab add desired passes. I will use only beauty for now. I will assemble my image in Adobe After Effects. Now import our texture. Before we start, set color depth to 16 or 32 bits. Set the color space to sRGB and check linearize color space. Open up our composition, add an extractor effect and select beauty from the list. And there is a problem, our image doesn't look right. We need to do some color management. Add adjustment layer and apply open color IO plugin. Navigate to your custom location and choose ACES 103 folder, select config OCIO file and press OK. 
select input devices ASUS CG and output to ASUS CCT. Duplicate layer, change input to ASUS CCT and output to sRGB or REC709. We also need to disable Use Display Color Management in the View tab, or add above everything adjustment layer with Color Profile Converter effect. Set both input and output to sRGB, check linearize output. Now we got exact image like in the C4T viewport. If you would like to do some color correction, you should do it in between those two layers. Create new adjustment layer and add a real glow effect to it. Check repeat edge pixels and gamma correction. Reduce glow intensity. Create another one and add some lumetri color. Choose some LUT in the creative section. Create solid and set it overlay mode to linear dodge or add. Let's add some lens flares effect with optical flares effect from video copilot. Choose the one you like and tweak its position and settings. Reduce its intensity. And another with chroma warp effect for chromatic aberration and lens distortion. Finally add one more layer with grain effect for better results. You can also add a tint effect to a bit desaturate our optical flare. You can enable or disable some layers. I will turn off optical flares for now. Now you know how to create a full CG planet in Cinema 4D and Redshift, and then assemble it in After Effects. At the end we got not only cool space scene, but rather useful setup. Change textures and colors to get a completely different look.